Thank you. I'm Mr. Lehner and welcome back to Mr. Lehner's Math Extravaganza. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at the locker problem. Now, when going through the locker problem, you might get a headache, maybe a migraine, you might get really frustrated, and guess what? That's a good thing. Now, you might be saying to yourself, Mr. Lehner, why do you want me to get a headache? It's not that I want you to get a headache, but it's sometimes in math, it's good to have a productive struggle. So if a problem kind of drives you crazy a little bit, it's a good thing that your brain is being challenged and you'll get some little wrinkles in here that are actually going to make you smarter in the long run. Today is also pajama day at Hazel Green, so I'm rocking out our Cookie Monster pajamas. So let's take a look at a fun warm-up problem for the locker problem. There are 50 lockers in the Prairie Junior High hallway. Mrs. Pallmeyer has hid candy in one of the lockers, or maybe she hid some cookies for the Cookie Monster. Maybe. She gave three clues to find the candy. The number is even, the number is divisible by three, and the number is a multiple of seven. Which locker is the candy in? So when working on a problem like this, it's important to not try and solve it all at once because you're going to give yourself that migraine or that, head, that headache there by trying to solve it. So let's break it down. What do I know? I know that there are 50 lockers total. What else do I know? Yeah, that's candy in a locker, but that's not really an important fact. Uh, but she did give us three clues. I know that the number is even, the number is divisible by three, and the number is a multiple of seven. When doing these clues, I would do them one by one. So it doesn't matter if you start with the first clue, the second clue, the third clue. That will be up to you. I'm going to show you the way that I solved it. You may have solved it totally different, and guess what? That's perfectly fine because there's more than one way to attack problems like these. The way I did it is I listed all the even lockers. So I knew right off the bat, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, all the way to 50, all the even lockers it can be in. So I just eliminated half the choices right there. That was the first clue I started with. The second clue is divisible by 3. So I went through out of my list here, which numbers are divisible by 3? Well, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, and 48 are all divisible by 3. Now when looking at this, you might notice a pattern up here. Ooh, it's not in these two lockers, but it is in the third one. Skip two lockers, it is in the third one. Skip two lockers, it is in the third one. And so forth and so on. Uh, it would be interesting if I continued this pattern, say to 100 lockers, do you think the pattern would continue? Would it only work for the first 50? That might be a good little brain teaser to test yourself with uh, at home. So then I looked at my last one. So all the ones in red are the ones divisible by three that are even. I also know it's a multiple of seven. Well, it's football season, so I'm gonna think of like touchdowns for the Bears. Seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49. Those are the seven multiples of seven that come up before 50, and 42 is the only one that's in my list that is highlighted in red. So I know, here's my explaining part, which sometimes can be uh, tricky for you guys, is I know Mrs. Pallmeyer hit the candy in locker 42 because it's an even number, that it's divisible by three, Here's my proof, 42 divided by 14 is 3, and it's a multiple of 7 because 6 times 7 equals 42. So the locker would be 42. If you came up with the same locker, great. If you did it a different way than I did, that's great too. Uh, you may have started with the multiples of 7 and listed out 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 49, and then try to figure out if they were divisible by 3, uh, and even that could work as well too. So keep that in mind. There's definitely more than one way to solve these problems. And again, if you found the candy, I'm sure like you, know, you at home, you probably enjoy eating some candy. I do as well. You already knew your turn was coming up. Let's take a look at what you're going to have to do. There are 50 lockers in the Prairie Junior High hallway. Mrs. Palmer has hid money in two of the lockers. She gave three clues to find the money. The number is odd, the number is prime, the number is a divisor of 11. Which lockers have the money in them? So in this problem, there's actually two lockers that she hid the money in. Using your information up here, you're going to have to try and find what two lockers they're in, hopefully before I do. So I'll tell you right now, if I get there before you do, I'm going to take the money. So hopefully you get the two lockers so that you can get some of the money too. I know you got the paper out, your pencil's ready to rock and roll. Go ahead and pause the video. We'll see what you come up with. Okay. Again, you may have done this one totally different than I do it, and that's perfectly fine, whatever works for you. 
But I'm going to take a look to find this money. I'm going to start with the first clue that the number is odd. So I'm going to make a list of the odd lockers, 1, 3, 5, 7, all the way to 49, because those are my odd lockers before 50. I'm then going to look at my second clue. I know that the number is prime. So any prime number that I have, I've highlighted in red. All these numbers are my prime numbers, so it has to be in uh, some of these lockers here. Then I used a divisor of 11. Hmm, what does divisor mean again? Oh, you're right. It's kind of like a factor. Factors I multiply together to get a product, uh, and when I'm working with divisors, divisors are dividing a number to get a quotient. So let's take a look. If I'm dividing something by 111, one of the things you may have done is list the divisors. Well, if I'm listing the divisors of 111, number 3 and 37 are two of the divisors. Well, 3 is prime, 37 is prime, and they're both odd, and they're both divisors of 111, so she hit it in lockers 3 and 37. And again, here's my explanation or my reasoning. Mrs. Fallmeyer hit the money in locker 37 and 3 because they are odd numbers that are prime and divisors of 111 because 11 divided by 3 is 37 and 11 divided by 37 equals 3. So again, I've shown my math to prove my statement here uh, that she hid the money in lockers 3 and 37. Wait, what's that? Oh, you got the right answer? Man, I was hoping I didn't have to share the money, but I guess since you got the same lockers as I did, we can share the money evenly. Again, hopefully in solving problems like this, these are warrant problems to the actual locker problem, when you're working with those thousand lockers, remember, do a short sample size. See if you notice any patterns in these problems. I know it can sometimes, like I said, give you a headache, but solving problems like this, when you get to the end of it and you figure it out, your light bulb's gonna start flashing, you're gonna say, man, I thought that problem was super hard and I was able to figure that out using some of my mathematical knowledge. And I'm gonna tell you right now, your confidence is going to sky through the roof once you figure out how to solve that problem. But once again, thank you for tuning into a Pajama Day edition of Mr. Miner's Math Extravaganza. And as always, we'll see you next time.